It is 50 years since the nuclear holocaust almost destroyed mankind. War is now outlawed, and all territorial disputes between the two great alliances are settled by single combat. Hello. Hello there. Have a seat. Hello. 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 Oh. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. Just some simple questions, routine. Can you describe your most enjoyable role and why you felt that way about it at the time? Well, I think the most enjoyable role I've ever had was this ham and mustard baguette. It was absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic. So, what would you say are your short and long term career plans? Well, I'd like to see myself not as a man, but as a manager. But later on in life, I'd like to become a general of all the swimming pools in Kent. What has been the most difficult situation you've had to deal with at work? Well, there was this one time when I was jet skiing down the coast of Antilene, being chased by 15 sharks. Now they were coming at me with two inch blades. Not, not the ones you use for opening doors, you know, the ones they use for taping Coronation Street. Now they were pretty fast, but luckily I turned left down by Warm Turn and ended up in Southland. And as you know, sharks can't ride bikes. Were these robot sharks? No, these were from Morrisons. Right. Tell me a difficult decision you've had to make quickly in recent times. When my girlfriend got knocked up and I was like, do I want to be a dad yet? And I thought to myself, I can't handle it, so I shot her. In hindsight, was it the right decision? No. What is your decision-making process? Well, I get three columns. A column of fruit, a column of meat, and a column of biscuits. Then, I get my old boy out and start whacking away. First one to fall down, that's the decision I'm gonna make. That's interesting. What do you think is your greatest achievement in life? My greatest achievement in life has got to be winning stars in ice. And what did you perform? I was Lulu singing Fuck Off. No, shout. Right. Why did you apply for this role? Well, I was talking to Papa down at pub and he said, I'm fucking sick of singing. Let's go and fight robots. And what is it about this that you think you'll particularly enjoy? Well, I love getting up in the morning. Can you describe to me your strength, both character and professional? Character, I'm a very lenient guy with women. I think that, with my charm as well, I'll be able to fight a woman and have no trouble at all. And professional? Professional, again, I like getting women. Right. So that's all the questions I have. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Good. How tall are the robots again? 80 foot. Do they trans they can transform in that? What if, you know when they go into space? Yeah. Is it alright? No complaints so far? No. Have anybody died? Yes. How many? Well, it's a fight to the death. You know if we the winner now, do we get our prizes? Yes. Have you ever played Smash TV? Yes. Is it anything like that? It's exactly like that. Yeah? Yeah. So when you press up, a special then. And if you push up on the other one, that's for going. Yes. So if you want to shoot backwards and walk forward, you've got to push up and down. Exactly. But if you want to shoot diagonally down and walk left, you've got to do like that. You are the right man for the job. You know if you've got um, missiles locked on? Yes. It, does my robot talk back? Yes. It will tell you so where I, you want. You know if it's locked on, will really you go like, Steve is locked on, shoot him. Yes. That's handy, isn't it? Very handy. What about dogging? Dogging? The robot? No, you know, just in general. Yeah, you can dog the general. Well, I'm happy. 
want the job? I do have the job. You've got the job. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Well done. You started training immediately. Yeah.